Hi, this is Gordon from Canter Archer Online at CanterArcherOnline.com and today we are bringing you one of our new bows that we received from the ATA show. It's the Summit Red Hawk. Now Summit as the brand is actually the same as Samic and what it is is basically their, their higher line of bows. You're not going to be able to find much information on the website or any of their um, searches on Google yet mainly because it is fairly new. So this bow is called the Red Hawk. You're not gonna find much about it. If you watched our ATA video, you'll see that um, we did bring it out at the show. What I'm gonna do is just gonna go over the bow itself, explain to you about um, the difference between that and the ever popular Samic Sage. Um, the Samic Sage has been doing great for us as sales wise. We saw a ton of these bows and we wanted to just show our viewers and our buyers as well that the difference between that bow and the Red Hawk. So maybe if you decide to upgrade or even buy another bow from us or from anywhere else that you'll see the difference between the two bows. First off, the Red Hawk, as you can tell, it is the same, pretty much the same geometry as the Samic Sage. It has the same limb pockets. It does come with the Allen key bolts. So it's not a finger knob, they're Allen keys actually. The limbs are black. They come varying poundage between 20 to 55 pounds. It might change until we get the final specs, we don't know. The rip itself is exactly the same. The shelf is rounded off. The difference here you'll see is that this cutout window is actually a lot narrower than the Samic Sage. The reason why is because it's meant for um, feathered arrows or bare bow shooters. It has no plunger hole and it has no sight mount, so keep that in mind. This is for the purists, the guys that like to shoot bare bow with feathered arrows. The um, shelf itself is, uh, like I said, is smooth and overall the bow build quality is very, very good. It has the red accent that runs along the length of the bow. Now it is also available in the long bow version. There's a longbow version, you'll see it on our ATA video. So this is just the takedown version that they've given to us. The wood finish is impeccable, just like um, all the other bows that they make. Um, other than that, we're gonna do a quick video on how, on how it shoots, and that's it. This is Gordon True from canarjoline.com.